Well, what's up, America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel, coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, what have you done, America? Here we are now. We're down to the Democrat and the Republican nominees you picked. And, uh, boy, you sure have made a mistake there. You done picked, uh, two of them. And, uh, the newspaper say, oh, nobody like them. And, uh, here's what you done. You put me in a, a, a terrible situation. I got to vote for one of them two people. And, uh, I don't know what to do. I'm probably going to write in Jim Bob, uh, Jim Bob's commentary channel, because, uh, uh, both of them's got problems. And, uh, I'm uh, concerned about it. Uh, on the one hand, on the Democratic side, you got uh, uh, this lady running, and, um, and she's uh, she's uh, been in the Washington uh, pretty much all her life. She's a career politician, and uh, and uh, people say that she's uh, it, uh, tells lies and stuff like that. And her husband, he is an own liar. And uh, so, uh, you know, he, uh, uh, he got credit for uh, balancing the budget. Uh, but as you recall, when the budget got balanced back there on that Democratic side, uh, did you get any big refunds or anything back from the government? I don't think they sent us back all the extra money they had after they balanced the budget. They just sort of kept it up there and spent it. And the next thing you know, a Republican come in there and he started up a couple of wars. And uh, well, he got in a couple of wars. I don't know if he started them or whatever. But anyhow, and then pretty soon everything is upside down again. And so there you go. Uh, and uh, so you got your established uh, Democratic uh, politicians, been in politics for all, all her life. And uh, so if you vote for that one, you're going to get the same old stuff you've been getting. And uh, so uh, that ain't been working out too good. And then on the other side, you got this fella, uh, the billionaire, and uh, you know who I'm talking about. And uh, anyways, he's uh, he done uh, he, all he does is uh, insult people. I mean, uh, and by God, uh, people like that. And I tell you why they do, because they're sick and tired, and so am I, of the way Washington has been operating over the last several years. It's pretty disgraceful. They don't do nothing for the common man or anything, or actually for this country. All they do is lie in their pockets. And proof of that is, he's a Republican, and the proof of that is about half of the Republican Party has gone against him. Well, what does that tell you? That tells you that they don't want the status quo changed. They want to keep stuff the way it is up there in Washington already. And uh, they're afraid that he might actually do it because people will vote for him. And the people are frustrated, and that's why they're going uh, along with him on account of they're frustrated with what's been up there before. And they're hoping that this fella can get up there in Washington and turn things around. Well, I don't know. I kind of uh, got my doubts on account of if you insult everybody all the time, that's all you ever do. Uh, you can get up there in the half of Congresses again, you. How's he going to get anything done? I don't know. He can't fire people like he could before when he's in the private sector. He's got to go along with the status quo. And so uh, I don't know. It's a heck of a dilemma America is in. And now we're down to these two idiots to vote for. And uh, you're going to pick one and I'm going to pick one. And good knows that whichever one of us picks the, or I guess the right one, uh, we all lose. So uh, that's what I've been thinking about. What you've done to us now, America, we're in a bigger fix than we ever have been. And uh, Lord knows what the next uh, term of president is going to happen to us. We need to change Washington. Washington needs to get off their ass and start doing something for America instead of the rest of the world. And uh, that's why this fellow people followed him because they believe that. And uh, that, that's true. That is what needs to be done. America needs to come first. I agree with that. But you got to have a plan to actually get it done. Well, that's all I got to say about it today. So Jim Bob is out.